Welcome to Conan Exiles. I am the Prowler, and this is the Taxidermy Guide. Alright, so today we are going to do Taxidermy Feet number four. And uh, this one is called Jungle Hunter. Go down to it here. Jungle Hunter. Alright, so as the name implies, uh, all these animals can be found in the jungle. <coughs> There's going to be eight this time. Starts off with shoe bills. They're a big bird, kind of like a terror bird from prehistoric times. There's three of them. A pink one, a gray one, and a green one. And they all spawn together in the same spot, which we're going to go to first. There's a demon spider head trophy. That one, she's a boss. So you want to come prepared for a boss fight kind of a thing. Uh, the salamander, the jaguar, the tiger, and the gray ape are all pretty just standard mobs that you would fight in the game not too tough <coughs> so we won't have too much trouble getting them today all right so as usual I got Tessa the blade here she's got her sword of Krom and she has a flawless Sumerian steel armor no additives uh, I just want to grab my bow again here put it back in the slot all right so Away we go. Uh, don't forget to bring your axe. You're going to need your axe. And make sure you have some shaped wood ready. Because this one takes, you know, a few, eight. So you want to have at least ten ready to go. Alright, so off to our first location. We're going over into the jungle. <coughs> I'll zoom in a little bit. Right here. This here is where you, the priestess for Durketo religion is, I believe it's called. Yeah. Anyways, right here on the other side of this river, on this little sandy beach part here, is where these shoe bills are. So we're going to go there first. <coughs> you don't really need your thrall for these. Like, they're not that tough or nothing. But, uh, you know, I just like to let the thrall do the work. Right? Okay. Oh, she's here already. Excellent. Okay, so here's this little, you know, pe peninsula. Oh, he's awfully close. Let's get away from here. Let's go over here a little bit. Just look around. Hey, there's one. Oh. She got me right away. Let's get the thrall interest. Come on, throw. There she goes. Come on. God, these thralls, they path so badly. Shoe bill head. There, we got the pink one. Let's keep looking around here. An iguanodon lizard, or like a big kimono dragon. There's no head for this guy. Kill him anyways. Alright, so over here, here's one of the gray shoe bills. Get with their heads. I guess they're kind of more white than gray, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Shoe bill head. Boom. That, I think these ones drop at every time. This is what it seems to be for me when I came through here earlier to do a practice run. Oh, jeez. Alright, she took care of those real good. Green shoebill head. Alright, so we got all the parts from here. Now, the next section that we'll go to is we'll go and get the gray ape head. Because it's like right here, too. <coughs> you just come up there is where that priest of Durketa, priestess of Durketa is. She's up there. There's a bunch of uh, other exiles up there, too, that you'll have to fight through to get to her and stuff, but, uh, yeah, that's all up there. I want to do that. <coughs> so, yeah, just swim across this river here. It's pretty safe. There's no mobs over on the other side. Or at least not right away. Hmm? 
And what you want to do is, uh, instead of following the, the water up there, just cut across again. <coughs> and it'll take us to a spot that has a, a bunch of apes. You can see there's more shoe bills here. If you didn't get your shoe bill. Uh, oh, whatever. There are obviously ninja shoe hill. Shoe bills that can hit you from any direction, any range. All right. So, you take this first little right when you get here. Oh, there's a monkey over there too. An ape. Anyways, we're gonna go up through here. Around here. <coughs> Give them a love tap. Get them all interested. Stairs, there's another one up here. <laughs> Thrall has a hard time figuring out how to follow you. You know, it's complicated stuff. Yeah, she makes light work of these. A couple hits in there now. Go ahead. Alright. <coughs> Go to the next one. Uh, she'll take care of this one. No problem. If you don't know already, too, <coughs> where we are. Uh, we're right near the, this is the, the Witch Queen Palace. And uh, in here is where Black Lotuses are. So you can go up in here and get some Black Lotus. But make sure you bring your, like, Sandstorm mask with you. Because um, <coughs> it is poisonous where the Black Lotus are. Okay, so in here there's a couple of these uh, eight men. Okay. They, uh, this is where I got my head on my run through, so you can get them off this too. Oh, sometimes they just don't fight, it's so annoying, you know? Anyways, yeah, see how she quick she takes them down when she's actually attacking them? Alright, Grey Ape Head, there we go. Grey Ape Head. So that's half of them already, right? <clears throat> so now we'll go back to the map. Right here, the Bay of Hulks. All along this, uh, this sandy beach here is a bunch of the iguanas that we need. The iguana head. Giant iguanas. Now you want to bring your shield for these guys because they spit at you. Oh, where am I? Yeah, here we go. When you get here, just run across the water over to these wrecks. If you didn't know this is a good spot, there's a bunch of chests around here. You can get a bunch of gold and silver. If you need gold and silver for your alchemical stuff. <clears throat> all around here is chests. Tons of chests in the pirate area. They're all filled with gold and silver coins or bars or whatever. Alright, so here's one right here. These iguanas. Oh, he hit me. <coughs> Alright. Salamander head. There we go. Boom. Uh, so the next one that we need now is the spider demon queen one. Now, supposedly she's up here, up here but I could never find her there. Uh, but she will spawn on this island here. So let's go to this island here. What's it called? Wreck of the Martyr. <clears throat> we'll just go to the beach here. And we'll find her. We'll take care of her. This, like the Rhino King in the last one, is your one and only like boss battle that you're going to have while you're here. 
might want to get your weapon out too to like help your thrall. They're not going to be able to handle all this. You know, there's a bunch of spiders all around the island. So if you're <clears throat> having a bunch of spiders mixed in with the boss battle, it kind of sucks. I think we're good though. Yep, we're good. We're gonna aggro her without any other ads. Alright, so. Let's hit her. Ooh, stay away from that stuff, that's corruption. You pretty much just wanna stay away from this battle. Stand here. Watch your thrall do all the work. <clears throat> now you'll notice. <clears throat> Normally this boss poisons you. There's a lot of poison damage involved with this one, but uh, my thrall is she's got this one's got like a hundred percent chance every level to, to gain in the survival skill, and that's the one that reduces the times of their detrimental effects like poisons and bleeds and things like that. And uh, the last battle that I did with her, she didn't even get any detrimental effects on her at all. So, <clears throat> even though a thrall might seem weaker, you know, when you have a bonus like that, it really helps out a lot. God, take you. So yeah, here she is doing her thing. Like, you can go in and help if you want, but it's just, you know, when that happens, you're going to get corruption damage, and that's no fun. See, we're at the edge of the exiled lands here, too. The pillars for the force field here. It's a, it's a beautiful place, you know. But it's all filled with these gross monsters, too. I guess if you want, like, you could, like some arrows at it or something. <laughs> Probably doing like no damage. <laughs> I have nothing put in accuracy. <clears throat> Get the axe ready. She'll have to go here. These world bosses, the three head, wolf, the three skull world bosses, they all take about the same amount of time to kill. <coughs> and they each have their own things, like the king, Rhino King. He like knocks you down, right? Smashes you down all the time, so that's what takes up time there. These ones, they have poison. You know, the giant spiders have poison. There's a bunch of giant spiders. There's cave giant spiders. A couple out in the world. One of the caves has a giant spider that has a chance to drop this, uh, this helmet that while you're wearing the helmet it repairs your legendary weapons. It's kind of alright when you take damage. Yes. I have it, but I, I don't use it. Because I don't really use the legendary weapons that much. Okay, as you can see, my weapon of choice is a uh, Sumerian Battle Axe. Just love it. Going in. Come on, Sumerian stuff. Right? Come on, throw. Done. Oh, she leveled up. <coughs> I've been feeding her gruel because I want her to level up in strength. And when you feed them gruel, it gives them plus 14% chance to get strength when they level up. Get the axe out. Demonic spider head. There we go. So, also while you're here, 
<coughs> She's a world boss. This is her world boss chest. What do we got this time? Balptor's Razor. A blade that weighs nothing. 64 damage. Armor penetration 23. Does cripple. Bonus encumbrance. That's kind of alright. Okay, so. Now all we have left is the cat heads. So the tigers are here in this little savanna area. I'm sure they're in the jungle somewhere too, but it's huge and I haven't searched all the jungle and I, I don't know where they are. So we're going to go instead to the savanna. And in the savanna, we can get tigers. Lions are also here, I believe. And this is where elephants are. And this is where uh, antelope, I think, were here. We had to come here before for one of those antelope or gazelle. I think it was antelope. Okay, so where are we here? There's the savanna down there. So we're going to, like, jump down the wall here. And I try to jump down the wall here every time, but I've yet to catch it. Get hurt every time. Anyways, <clears throat> right over here, from where you come down, show you on the map, on the left side of this... Uh, this area here, there's a tiger right here, where there should be, yeah, there he is. He doesn't realize I'm here yet. Oh, here we go. We're all getting involved. Boom. Tiger head. Boom, just like that. Okay. So now the last location is it's a really easy spot to get jaguars here. There's like two that spawn here. They spawn all the time. This is near my other base. <coughs> so we'll go to my other base first. Let's wait for it to load up here. All right. So from this area here. Oh, also if you want to know. This little island down here. That's where the King Shaleback spawns. He's going to be from a later video. For now, we're going to go over here. We're going to go get a jaguar. On the left side around this pool. Also maybe... Uh, Take out this shale back first. If you just go straight for the jaguar, she'll go for the shale back anyways. Alright, here's this jaguar. There's cubs here too. If uh, you want to. Take you. <coughs> jaguar head. There we go. <coughs> so that's it. That's all the heads. Alright. So now we go back down to our main base, or at least my main base. And as usual, we just bring all of our heads to the artisan's table. Artisan's workbench. And uh, you put all your heads in here, make the recipes, and then you can install them on the wall, right? So, as usual, <coughs> I have them all ready here. And we can look at them. Kind of up close. That's the demon spider head. Scary looking thing. The shoe bills, you can see, like the rhinos, are all the same, just different colors. They look pretty alright. Over here we have the gray ape head and the jaguar head. They take a little bit to load in sometimes. Sometimes there'll be some artifacts from like the whiskers that don't look right or whatever. There's the salamander. The salamander definitely looks cool. 
And last we have the Tiger. Which didn't load in for me right last time either. <coughs> Something wrong with the eyes and the whiskers on this. But uh, there you have it. There's uh, the jungle hunter feet. All different jungle animals, jungle boss. Alright, so that's uh, feet number four for the taxidermy line of feats for Conan Exiles. I hope you're enjoying Conan Exiles, and you have a great day. Bye.